Hey guys, so we're back with another one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm here today with my friend Sarah Boyd. Hey Sarah. Hi. How are you? Good. Um, she is the founder of Simply Stylist, and she's going to tell us all about how she got her start and really what it is today. So Sarah, just tell me a little bit about it, how you went from PR to starting Simply Stylist and what it is. Yeah. So Simply Stylist, we have a fashion and beauty conference, mm -hmm. uh, we have our blog, and then we have a whole network of different events that we throw around town, Yeah. Uh, with the main purpose being connecting and networking within the industry. So we have top experts in fashion and beauty, like stylists, editors, designers, bloggers, makeup artists, and we put them on panels for women to be able to come and learn from them. Mm -hmm. um, we do the same thing on our blog and we feature them. So it's really just a community that um, connects a fashionable girl, a basically, fashionable which lady. everyone loves. That's yes. so fun, and it's so good because I know a lot of you out there are wondering, if you're not in LA especially, how do I get my start? Who do I connect mm -hmm. with? What do I do? And you sort of give the tools to help them get into the world, whether it's interning or just getting the right contacts or mm -hmm. the confidence, really, right? Is that key to getting your start? Yeah, I mean, well, I was in PR for about 10 years, fashion PR, mm -hmm. and I had so many girls come up to me and say, I am dying to be a stylist. Yeah. Can you get my button? the door like how do I get my foot you know yeah how do I send my resume to yeah and then on the other end I would give the resume to a huge stylist and mm -hmm. they'd be more than happy to take on interns so it's just really creating that bridge yeah um, in between you know the girls on their way up and then the uh, people that already made it that's so, so smart. I love that yeah it's really good um, since you are so immersed in this sort of blogging culture stylist culture what do you think of it all? What, where do you think it's going? Like, is blogging here to stay? What's your thoughts on it? I think blogging is here at least for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely going to be a what's next. I don't know what that's going to be. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, as long as the bloggers are authentic and they stay true to their style and who they are, mm -hmm. um, I think there will be very few that rise to the top and, yeah. you know, it'll be survival of the fittest. And totally. Some will not be around in five, ten years, but you know the best of the best will be, and I think, mm -hmm. you know, I think blogging is only going to get bigger. Yeah, girls probably come to you with a lot of questions, I would assume, and they're probably like, "What's the one thing you can give me as a piece of advice? What's your number one thing you would tell girls, or what's the number one question you get asked that you always answer?" A lot of girls always ask me, "How do I get in the industry?" Yeah, of course, because I am creating this whole concept yeah. and you know my advice is always to intern, mm -hmm. intern, intern as mm -hmm. much as you can. Um, get your foot in the door no matter how you can, just mm -hmm. offer to bring coffee to them, <laughs> offer to, whatever it is, just get in there yeah. and if you can prove yourself once your foot is in the door, you're there to stay, they'll mm -hmm. refer you to other people, you'll just naturally get into that industry. Yeah. So I think it's being really persistent and um, interning. Persistence is key, guys. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this earlier, and I honestly think that's the best way. You have to stay fresh in their mind because there's a million girls who are emailing and yeah. writing and wanting to work with them. So it's exactly. a big, big point. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're in this industry to where you're also your own boss now too. Yeah. What's your biggest complaint and your your greatest reward coming from it? So many rewards. <laughs> I love it. Um, but you know, being your own boss is really cool. You know, you don't have to answer to anyone, all that yeah. good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but on the flip side, you have to be very self-sufficient and mm -hmm. you know, create deadlines for yourself yeah. and answer to yourself. Um, so that does get a little difficult, mm -hmm. especially if you know there's a ton of things happening and mm -hmm. staying on track. Um, but you know. The end, there's endless things that are amazing about it. You yeah. know, setting your own hours, balancing your work, personal life, yeah. being able to go, you know, visit your family on the other <laughs> side of the country and bring your laptop and work. Yeah. So there's a million things. It's yeah. it's awesome, um, and you can really just build your own destiny. Yeah, really. I think the thing though too is it takes so much hard work. So if you're thinking about building a blog or a company like Sarah did or anything else, it's just about loving what you do mm -hmm. because you really, even if you are traveling, like you said, you're with your laptop, always working. you're always working. So Never that's a big off. point. Yes. <laughs> always either on the phone, your laptop, or something, but yeah, something. never ends. Sarah, you are so well connected in the city, obviously, because you have this fabulous conference and company, but if there's one thing to do to relax in LA, what do you love to do? Oh my gosh, this <laughs> is not going to be the typical answer. But every Sunday night, my husband and I go to get Thai massage. In, You're kidding me. Yeah. In the valley, it's like 40 bucks for an hour, and really? every single Sunday night, we are there getting Thai massage. And it's like not the nicest place, yeah. but the best massage you will ever get in your life. Really? 
best. That's amazing. Oh my god. Every gosh. Sunday. So wait, Thai massage, that's where they like stretch you uh -huh. and do all these crazy things. Oh like, yeah. It's relaxing though. <laughs> well, like, it's a massage for about 50 minutes and then the okay. last 10 they're like stretching you and cracking you and I love it. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's really how you decompress from this crazy life that we live. Pretty much. Okay. That's what I look forward to every week. That's yeah. so cool. I love that. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with thank us you. and for giving the advice to the girls. And guys, you have to get online, simplystylist.com. Check out a conference in the nearest city. She's traveling all around the country and doing these conferences. So I'm sure she'd love to have you. Yes, I would. Thank you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.